Well, I didn't find all the tools that I wanted to use, but it's always got to be the coldest day of the year when my well pressure gauge goes out. So, today, I'll be going down in that hole again. I went down in there this weekend and filed the points. Now I'm going to have to get down in there and change that valve out. Well, no snakes today, that's a good thing. up and uh, we'll see how it goes from here. You can see it's pretty darn cool with the winter. My glasses are fogged up on me big time. Yeah, it doesn't help either with the uh, submarine. I did hear the pump kick on. Yep, there it is. Moment of truth. We got the water going. I'll see if this will focus, but what's happened to this switch is there's electrical contact points here and here, and when the pressure drops, those uh, points either open or close, whichever way it's supposed to be, but as you can see, these are fried stuck shut, so my well would not kick on and off, and thus, no water. So I'll put the new pressure switch in there, and we got water going again now, so. These switches we've been going through about one every two to three years because so you do a lot of water in the yard and garden and everything in the summertime. And these switches don't last too long. But they never go out in the summertime when it's easier to work on something, that's for sure.